What's going on, y'all? Tech me out here, and yeah. I know I'm a little bit later than usual with my iPhone coverage, but if you follow me on Instagram, you probably are already aware I had to take a little medical hiatus, but I am back. Kinda. And that's cause you know, I'm still recovering, but I'm okay. So the iPhone 15 lineup came in and I am just, I'm just so excited y'all to like open these up and I can't open them up without doing it with y'all. So let's get into these unboxings of the iPhone 15. We got the 15 plus, the 15 pro and the 15 Pro Max. Oh, and I also have a few accessories. I might actually save those for a separate video because I am planning to do a best accessories for the iPhone 15 lineup. Okay, so the first one we're gonna get into is the iPhone 15. Nothing too different. Oh, I'm all off camera pulling the, the thing off. Black is just standard color. Actually, these come in a few colors, with the new one being pink and green. Hey, Soros. All right, so what I have here in front of me is the iPhone 14 in black, and then the iPhone 15 here in black. So as you can see here, the iPhone 14 has like more of a glossy finish, because this is matte, so you don't have that shiny finish, which I like. I don't know, what would y'all prefer? The finish on the 15 or the finish on the 14? As you can see here on the display, like I said, it's a little hard to tell, because it's such a small difference, but it's a difference nonetheless. But let's take a look first at what's in the box. So in the box here, we now have a woven cable, USB-C to USB-C, because if you didn't know, the iPhone 15 lineup now is offering USB-C charging, which I'm completely excited about because it allows me to just simplify my cables and I'm, I'm so loving that because let's be real, everything's going over to USB-C, so why shouldn't iPhones, right? But um, in terms of what you get with the paperwork, pretty much standard packaging here, it tells you about your eSIM. You get a white Apple logo, so it does not color match the phone, but that would have been a nice touch, right? So now let's take a look at the iPhone 15 Plus here. Now taking a look at the sides, it just color matches the phone, but let's take a look at the phone. We got the green one here, Oh. I like that. Do y'all remember the Spree candy? Like a Mentos, but it reminds me of like the color of the green Spree candy. I know that's real specific, but it just really took me back to that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I like the green. It's very muted. Um, you see most of the saturation up here in the camera area and the size, I like that. I like how the color spills over to the side too. The green on the side kind of matches the green in the camera area, but I like it. That looks good. What do y'all think? All right, so let's get this off. In terms of what comes in the box, it's the same thing. Like I said, braided cable, Apple sticker, eSIM information. And then, we almost there, y'all. Should I just? I'm eager beaver. I kind of want to get to the Pro Max. Should we? What color is this one? Let's unbox them both at the same time. So this is the Pro over here on the right. We got the Pro Max over here on the left. All right. Flip these over. Ooh, big brother and little brother. This blue looks good. It's like a different shade, is it? Am I tripping? Hold up, let me compare. All right, y'all, so just for color comparison's sake, I have the MacBook. I wanna say this is a 13 inch here in blue, and it's similar, as you, you can kinda you can see where they're related. I don't know, I'll let y'all be the judge. Let's be real. So, you know, they're the same pretty much. Let's get to the one, <laughs> the star of the show, really. The one that I really want, which is the Pro Max. And, oh, immediately I can tell that this is lighter. I had the 14 Pro Max in purple. And yeah, I feel the difference. This is definitely lighter. In comparison to my 14 Pro Max here, and this is another difference that you'll notice instantly. So on the 15 Pro Max, you have a matte finish along the side, so you no longer have to worry about the little fingerprints that you normally would get, like I have over here on my 14 Pro Max. But that's something I actually said in my last unboxing footage, which was it would be nice if the finish on the um, Pro models were matte so that it would reduce the fingerprints. And you still do get them a little bit over here, so don't be mistaken there, but it's a lot less than what we would get with this shiny finish on the 14 Pro Max here. And 
And that's something else I want to know. If you don't know with the USB-C charge in here, the charging speeds are still the same, but at least the transfer speeds are a little bit faster. I think 20 times faster on the Pro Max, at least. And you can also juice up another phone or another device that's USB-C so I could charge an Android phone if I wanted with my iPhone. <laughs> the big thing that changed though with the Pro Max is the addition of the action button here, which I'm really looking forward to using. I am curious to see though, if it lets me customize it to be more than one thing, because I do like using this as the mute switch, but I would also love the option to use it as something else. So like maybe a single press to mute, double press to launch my camera. Cause that is one thing I love on my Android devices, which is the option to double press the power button and instantly launch the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. To me, when it comes to upgrading, it really boils down to like, if the new features are things that you utilize, don't get swayed by the hype or the new factor, you know, if you're not gonna utilize the things that you're upgrading to. So the 15 compared to the 14, like it has a better camera on the 15 for one. Like, although you just have two cameras along the back here, one thing you'll notice is that when you actually go into the camera app, you now have three different like focal points or lens options to choose from down here. So you have your normal two that you would ordinarily have, but now you have ultra wide over here which is honestly something like when I would use smaller phones that I would really miss a lot. So the fact that now it has ultra wide, cause I like shooting with that mode, especially for like portraits and things like that. It just, it changes the look. And speaking of portraits, portrait mode is a new feature on the 15 as well, where it will auto detect a person or an animal and switch to portrait mode, which is something you have to manually enable on the 14. I gotta test this out, but and that actually came out really good. On the entire 15 lineup, you can actually come in here and hit edit and then tap portrait down here at the bottom and adjust the intensity of the portrait mode effect after the fact. And this is something that you cannot do on the iPhone 14. It does have a faster chip inside of here. So this has an A16 Bionic chip. And another difference is that it now has dynamic islands. So if you're not familiar with that, that basically lets you interact with your notifications or your activities that you have running on your phone. Like for me, I like using it for my timer because I can just interact with it from right there at the top of my screen versus always having to go into my settings. It's also great for monitoring like your Uber ride, deliveries, just a lot of different things that have live activities. On top of that, the finish of the phones are different as well as the color options, but the capacity is the same, the display is the same, and you still have the ring silent switch because that action button is only on the pro lineup. So yeah, if you're thinking about upgrading from the iPhone 14 to the 15, yeah, there's some things there to enjoy, but I will definitely say just overall, you'll probably notice more of a upgrade if you're going from something like the iPhone 13 or especially the iPhone 12. It's gonna be a more noticeable change then. But when you look at the iPhone 14 Pro Max versus the iPhone 15 Pro Max, let me just pick it up on cameras and say that's another big difference. So you pretty much got like seven lenses in here. So you got your ultra wide right here. And then if you tap one time zoom here, you can choose between your 24 millimeter lens 30 I mean 28 millimeter lens or your 35 millimeter lens there or you can tap two here take it up to two times zoom five here take it up to five times zoom or scroll right here and take it up to 25 times zoom giving you seven lenses total so one oh, one two three four five six seven. I'm interested to see how that telephoto lens, which has a 120 millimeter, I want to say range, goes against something like the Samsung Galaxy Ultra, which has rained for a long time with that, you know, uh, super zoom at a hundred times. So I wonder if it's a little bit better. Apple's had a little bit longer <laughs> to perfect it. I want to see which one's gonna, you know, have the better camera in that department as well as overall. If you have any of the iPhone 14s, upgrading to the iPhone 15 is definitely optional for you. You might notice a little change here and there, but unless you really care about the camera like that, or you're sick of charging things via lightning, you know, to me, those were the biggest changes are in the music switch now being an action button but I'm gonna be testing these cameras out I know I ran a little long on this one a little longer than I would have liked to but the one I do want to pop open is this woven case because it's a new material gorilla grip oh man how do you come on now I know there has to be an easier way why am I struggling oh, I don't rip this whole thing apart boom 
to two people, y'all. All right. Ooh, this is pretty though. If you didn't know, like little fact, purple used to be my favorite color growing up. Like I loved purple. Oh man, and this is a cute shade. I really, I really like that. And it feels nice. It's a very smooth, almost silk-like finish. I don't know what I would compare this to. It's like a velvet finish. Yeah, I'd say that. That's probably the closest we're gonna get. All right, so, boom. 15 plus goes in here. That purple on green looks kinda good. But all right, y'all. Um, that's gonna be it for this one. I'm gonna do some more coverage. Firstly, the 15 Pro Max. Um, cause that's the one my eyes have really been set on there. But drop your questions down below that you have about these phones. And um, I'm gonna end it here. As always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.